Hello, hi, this is Dr. Karen Perez, and today we'll be discussing nursing math calculations. Stay tuned. So before going into the question, I want to point out some basic things that you should know first, or basic understanding that you need to have. Milligrams, or milligram, measures mass, which is actually weight. So we're talking about, when you talk about milligrams, you're talking about what is the mass or what is the weight of the medication. When they talk about ML, they're measuring volume, like how much liquid is this medication constitute in? So again, when they talk about milligrams, you're talking about the weight or the mass of the medication. And when they talk about ML, they're talking about the actual amount of liquid that the medication is constituted in, all right? So let's read the question. And the question reads, a nurse is preparing to administer Benadryl, 30 milligrams IM, which is intramuscular, to a client. What's available is 50 milligram per ML. How many ml should the nurse administer? So the formula for that is dose order over dose on hand times the volume. So before I plug in those numbers, I want to point something out to you. So here's a syringe. This is the 1 ml mark. This is the 2 ml mark. Here is a 3 ml mark. And here is the fourth and fifth. Now, this question say that in one ml, there's 50 milligrams. So from here to here, which is one ml, you can find the weight of 50 milligrams of this medication in one ml. That's, that's it. One ml contains 50 milligrams. However, the order calls for 30 milligrams. So you have to find a way how many or how many ml would you pull up to give 30 milligrams. Now I know that it's going to be less than one. And I know it's going to be less than one because one is actually 50 milligrams. So if that is 30 milligrams, that means it is less than one. So it is 30 milligrams, which is dose order, over the dose on hand, which is 50 milligrams, times the volume, which is 1 ml. I could have ml, I could have 1 ml. So let's calculate. Milligram cancel milligrams. Zero cancel the zero. Three divided by five give you 0 0.6. Then I'm going to multiply it times 1 ml, which will give me 0 0.6 ml. ml. Now, you should not have trailing zeros. What well, that means, you don't want to have zeros following the 6. You should not have this. No trailing zeros. Because someone may not see the point and it may be construed as 60 or 600 or 6,000. You won't have a zero before it because if you don't have a zero before it and you only have 6.6, 6, it may be constituted as only being 6. All right? So remember, the formula is dose order over dose on hand times the volume. So we're going to plug it in, which is dose order is 30. Dose on hand or available is 50 times the volume, which is ml. And the answer is 0 0.6 ml. And no trailing zero. All right? So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any question or comments, please write it in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please stay tuned to more information on medication calculation.